When Jesus heard it, he answered him, saying, Fear not, believe only, and she shall be made whole. And when he came into the house, he suffered no man to go in, save Peter and James and John and the father and the mother of the maiden. And all wept and bewailed her, but he said, Weep not, she is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn, knowing that she was dead. But as I've said before, the whole idea here was that to Jesus, she wasn't dead. To Jesus, she was just sleeping. Why? Because God is not the God of the dead, but the living for all are alive unto him. See, just because somebody dies doesn't mean that they don't exist anymore. God still sees them. They're still alive. They're just not in the body. But they, they're going to go somewhere, okay? And here, Jesus looks at it like, oh, we're just going to go wake her up. Jesus never said she was dead. Isn't that right? He said, as she sleeps, we're going to go wake her up. Why? Because it's that easy. Listen, if you have to work on it, if you have to do these things, then you're probably not in faith. So you have to realize faith is a rest. Faith is being able to go, this is the way it will end. Right? And you go in there and you just wake her up. And that's what Jesus did. Now, I would throw in, this would be the same principle of how Jesus operated whenever he said, is it easier to say, your sins be forgiven or rise up, take up your bed and walk? Which is easier? Well, to God, it's six one way, half a dozen the other. Why? Because it's all easy to him. Isn't that right? See, it's only hard for you when you're thinking in your own strength. When you think in his strength, everything gets easy. And whenever you think everything gets easy and people see, because there's an, there's an attitude that comes with faith. Now, the attitude is not faith, but faith will produce an attitude of relaxation, a rest. Oh, yeah, it'll be this way. Well, no, you don't understand. You, don't, you obviously don't understand how serious this is. No, I do. You just don't understand how big God is. No, no but you don't understand. See, I, this, 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 the doctor's report says, okay, and God's report says, which are you going to believe? See, that's what, this, that's what all this comes back to. Now watch, because here's the thing. Remember what's going on. Jesus is talking to this woman saying, you're healed, right? And then guess what? He's already, Jesus has already spoken. He, he's going with the ruler of the synagogue. He's going with him. He's, we're going to go. She's going to be healed. Isn't that right? Yes. End of story. That's it. Just hadn't happened yet, but that's the way it's going to end. 